I go to user controller for insert the user information to database. I'm looking for a store function and then I write the validation so request validate I will validate on fields names so name is mean I require it means you need to input the names and the tie is string mm. No, no, okay. Sorry, sorry. I just use only tie string. And then the email fields. I also put it requires. And then the tie string. And then the last one is passwords. Also requires and tie is. No, no, I don't want to put the ties. It just requirely here. And then I write users create. And then names I got information from request names and also emails request emails and the last one is password and request password okay and then I declare one variable called users and then I use condition here if user not success and then I will return the mistake okay I return redirect back and then with the mistake error so errors not success okay so we Okay. And here is its um, success. It will read the right. It will read the right to user. Okay, I use around here user dot create from bit the message success. successfully good and then I create the mistakes I go to view and then I create one folder called mistakes in here is it the purpose to show the mistake a success or not success in the uh, user form so I use flash mistakes dot let dot php inside here I write the condition if mistakes equals session It's success in 
it will okay i will write one till i use class alerts success with alerts blocks And then one button here tie is here class use BTN sorry I use class close and then the data dismiss alert okay And then I use the strong page. I show the mistake. Okay, good. Yeah, that's right. Let me save it. Then I use another condition. We say equals session gets errors I copy this sorry pass in here and then I change it change mm -hmm. I will show in this on okay I use class Lock in box mg msg and then I will include the uh, mistakes that flash okay mistakes in here let me save it then I go back I try to test one data Let me save it. Oh, mm -mm, it's error. So we ah, oh, I forgot to put the name here. Names. It's also the same. Emails. Password. Let me save it. And then. Test it again, abc at gmail. Okay, it's successful. Let me refresh the database. Okay, in here it's not in grip, so we need to change the source code. We go to user controller install function here I need to use hash in here hash make mm -hmm. okay save it again and let me refresh the project and save it again And save it. 
Okay, it's success. Refresh the database. Okay, yes, it's coverage. So thank you for watching.